Hello everybody, this is Pitch Gold Black here and welcome to a Big Finish Collection video for March 2021. This is very much the beginning of a new journey for me. I've had several attempts in the past of trying to get into Big Finish, but after work on a recent video involving the history of Doctor Who, I have come back to them and I have looked at them in a new light and I think I've gotten into them for good at last. For this new exploration of the company, as you might have gathered from my recent trilogy of reviews, I will be focusing on the Sixth Doctor, Gallifrey, Gallifrey and Mythos and the Time War, as well as the Seventh Doctor in part. And this big order I made from the company recently very much encompasses all of that. But before I can dive into this parcel, I have a couple introductory unboxings to do first. And so here we have the first introductory unboxing of this collection update video. And this is a part of a order I did on eBay where I was able to get one box set of Big Finish that I was interested in for 20 quid and another uh, that I wanted to experience as kind of build up towards the box set that I was interested in for 15 and with postage this order came to 40 quid which is absolutely brilliant because one of these box sets would be well 40 quid on the big finish website anyway so pretty much a buy one uh, get one free in a sense and despite ordering both box sets from the same seller on eBay it appears they are sending them differently as this is only big enough to be one of them but either ways let's tuck into this box set and find out what is contained within. Doctor Time War 1 box set. So as I look at the front there, the spine, and then the back there, with the bottom of the box set there. And then for the episodes contained within this box set, we have the Starship of Thesis, Echoes of War, the Conscript, and then the finale of this box set, which is One Life. I've also been able to obtain the first Dark Eyes box set along with the first uh, Eighth Doctor Time War 1 box set from the same seller on eBay and as I said I'm admittedly a little more interested in Time War 1 than Dark Eyes uh, to be honest with you because of my own kind of like tastes and interest with Big Finish currently but this is a box set that I did want to check out before venturing into Time War 1. So to quickly overview Dark Eyes 1, we have the front cover, the spine, and then the back of this box set. And then there you've got all of the spines of the different episodes that are in this box set. So then for the different installments that are within this box set, the first episode is entitled The Great War, the second episode Fugitives, and then for the third episode we have Tangled Web, and then we have the finale of this box set which is X and the Daleks. But yes, there was my little introductory unboxing section on Dark Eyes 1 and the 8th Doctor The Time War Volume 1. Now let's move on to the big, big finish parcel. So 
so kind of continuing off of Dark Eyes and the Eighth Doctor Time War One, we have yet another box set from the Big Finish Company, and that is one of the most hyped and praised Big Finish box sets to ever be released, along with Dark Eyes. I would have said from looking at the general consensus, and that is the War Master. Only the good. my oh my is that a stunning looking box set. But yeah, I have heard nothing but good things about this particular range as well as this box set and it is a range of big finish audios that I really did want to dive into and to check out on this kind of new Gallifreyan and Sixth Doctor centred journey of big finish that I am having as from the looks of it I'm not too sure about the sixth box set which is coming out in August 2021 with regards to this range but the first five box sets of this range all appear to take place at some point within the time war or focus on um, Gallifreyan mythoses and something to do with the time war by the looks of it and um, that sounds right up my street with regards to kind of tastes and interests in Doctor Who and as I said I've heard nothing but good things uh, funnily enough about um, this range so I decided to dive in and to check it out it's interesting how um, such a praised big finish range has a box set called Only the Good Time in Office by Eddie Robson which was a massively praised audio from 2017 from what I can gather uh, one of my kind of inspirations for Big Finish I would have said and maybe one of my Doctor Who YouTuber idols if you want to put it like that Pertwee Smith 11 absolutely loves uh, this audio and I think he said it was his best uh, Big Finish release from 2017 if I'm not mistaken but yeah, I had a little look into this one after hearing about it from him and yeah, this sounds absolutely fantastic and I believe how it works is that it kind of plays out like an anthology story but kind of all gets connected together and tied up by the fourth part with the fifth Doctor being made the president of Gallifrey. Cryptobiosis which is only £5 on the Big Finish website and I decided to buy it and give it a try. And going back to Pertwee Smith 11, I've watched his videos for literally years now, even when I wasn't into Big Finish. I always found like Big Finish discussion videos and what have you always absolutely kind of fascinating and interesting, uh, despite myself not really uh, like listening to Big Finish or going out there to um, listen to them. I always found the discussions and kind of um, reviews of Big Finish to be really kind of fascinating and what have you. And I watched Pertwee Smith 11 all the time. This was one that I spotted in his older videos. And it's one that always interested me. And after kind of looking into it a little more, it reminded me of a couple X-Files episodes that I really, really like um, from Series 2 and Series 6. Uh, Triangle and Dodd Cam from Series 2. And then I saw it was only a fiver on the Big Finish website and I decided to get it and give it a go. Season 23 is one of my favourite seasons of... Doctor Who and I know it's an extremely flawed season and what have you but for my own kind of personal tastes and preferences it's one of my absolute favourite seasons of Doctor Who of all time probably in my top three if I'm honest and this is one here that seems to kind of expand and continue off of Trial of a Time Lord in some ways with the kind of whole trial thing being kind of swapped around here with the Valyard being on trial by the looks of it and yeah with my love of the trial of a time lord this is one that I wanted to kind of check out Guardians of Prophecy um, I've heard this is meant to be one of the best 
Sixth Doctor Lost Story releases uh, that there is, and it is one that interested me greatly. Um, I, it's not one of my favourite stories of all time, The Keeper of Traken, but I love a lot of the ideas to it and what have you that that story has. And I just absolutely love the idea of uh, the Melka and the whole kind of Traken, I guess you could say mythos again. And as such, this is one that really, really did interest so Yes, there me. was my recent order from the Big Finish website, a whole bunch of Gallifreyan and Sixth Doctor goodness that I am very, very interested in checking out. And now we move on to one of the main attractions of this Big Finish collection, I would have said, a part that I am focusing on greatly, and that is the monthly range audios. We have the very first one that was ever done, The Sirens of Time. Um, I've only listened to this one once, I think, and I thought it was alright a few years ago. Phantasmagoria, same kind of thing. Um, listened to this a couple years ago, and I actually thought it was a great one that I do need to um, come back to and revisit. Whispers of Terror. This one for the first three episodes I thought was absolutely fantastic. Really, really good kind of uh, sound design and play on the medium of Doctor Who's story that it was. But the fourth part was just a really convoluted and a bit of a mess of a finale, in my opinion. So, a bit disappointing that one was. Then we have The Land of the Dead. The Fear Manga. The Genocide Machine, the first Big Finish Dalek audio, I believe. Winter for the Adept. The Apocalypse Element, a sort of loose continuation to the Genocide Machine, I believe, and one that I am very, very interested in listening to and giving a go. And then we have a rather interesting one here, and that is the Shadow of the Scourge, which, from my understanding, was meant to be a Virgin New Adventures novel, but was never published or made as a book for some reason, so it ended up getting adapted in the early uh, 2000s as a big Finnish audio drama. So it's a very interesting and kind of curio audio to listen to, I guess you could say, in a way. And um, yeah, this is absolutely fantastic, I would have said, and is a really good kind of... Uh, Venture slash sidestep into the uh, Virgin New Adventures territory as the cover puts it. The Mutant Phase, the third part in the loose kind of Dalek Empire audios. Then we have the Stones of Venice, one that I listened to quite a bit uh, back in the day whenever I had brief moments of being into Big Finish. And um, great story by Paul Mars, in my opinion. Um, kind of combines art and the underwater menace, which may not be for everybody, but for me, I really liked it. And then we have quite a special item from the collection, which I purchased off of eBay recently, and that is this quadruple signed copy of Blood Tide. I wanted to get something like this for in the collection as a collector's piece, considering that I would be focusing on the Sixth Doctor uh, greatly within this new journey of Big Finish for myself and I ended up finding this for £25 on eBay and I bought it. Um, so yeah, this particular copy of Blood Tide is signed by Jonathan Morris, the author, Conan Baker who plays the Sixth Doctor, Maggie Stables who plays Evelyn Smythe and Jane Goddard who plays the character Greta in this story. I haven't listened to this yet, but I am very interested in giving it a go. I've heard this one's meant to be fantastic. And speaking of fantastic Big Finish audios, we have the legendary Project Twilight, which is just absolutely incredible. And um, yeah, this is just a fantastic kind of blending of the two seasons of TV Sixth Doctor, I would have said. Um, but yeah, absolutely incredible. Recently reviewed that one. Then we have the One Doctor, which I thought was pretty good for the first half, but really fell apart in the second two. 
Then we have The Chimes of Midnight by Robert Shearman, one of the most iconic and legendary Big Finish audios and for good reason. Then we have Embrace the Darkness, one that I'm quite interested in reviewing, Neverland, which is kind of a two-part Gallifreyan epic leading up to Zagreus. Then we have Jubilee, one that I also recently reviewed. The Dark Flame, which is another kind of sidestep into the Virgin New Adventures kind of territory. And then we have Project Lazarus, which I recently reviewed on this channel again. And bloody hell is this an incredible um, audio. This might be a bit odd to say, but I actually prefer this to Project Twilight, I think. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And then we have the mad and psychedelic Zagreus. And then we have the Wormery, which I recently listened to. Very interesting audio. And then we have Schizo. Arrangements for War. The Harvest, which is the introduction of Hex into Big Finish. Medicinal Purposes, one that I'm very interested in giving a go. Uh, Kerdroya, which I believe is near the end of the Divergent Universe arc. And then we have Dreamtime. Catch 1782. Thicker Than Water. Another one that I'm very interested in listening to, Peer Pressure. Same with the Nowhere Place. And then we end this small little section with seven Seventh Doctor audios, funnily enough. Starting off with Red, which is one of my absolute favourite uh, Big Finish audios. And I can't remember what it was, but there was an incredible... Uh, speech in one of the middle episodes by the seventh doctor which just made me love his doctor even more and then we have no man's land the magic mouse trap the klein trilogy with a thousand tiny wings survival of the fittest the architects of history and then we have the standalone and great from what i remember Robophobia. And then moving on to the second section here, we have the 60s era first and second Doctor audios that I have. Starting off at the top here, we have the main of the Vord, starting off with the early adventures. Then we have the Doctor's Tale, the Bounty of Cirrus, an ordinary life. One that I have reviewed on the channel quite a while ago now. The Yes Men. The ISOS Network. Another one I've reviewed. The Ravelli Conspiracy. The Sontarans. The Night Witches. The Outliers. The Morton Legacy. The Wreck of the World, The Dalek Occupation of Winter, which is one of my favourite Big Finish audios, The Home Guard, I'm not sure if I'll listen to this one, but um, I'll, I'm happy to have it in the collection still, uh, Daughter of the Gods, there, the supposed finale of the early adventures there. Then we have the Companion Chronicles, Home Truths. The Drowned World, The Emperor of Eternity, The Guardian of the Solar System, The Anachronauts, The Jigsaw War, The Beginning, The War to End All Wars, The Companion Chronicles First Doctor Volume 1, First Doctor Volume 2, Second Doctor Volume 1 there. And then we have the Lost Stories. I also have the first and second Doctor Lost Stories box sets, but they won't be showcased in this section. We have the Masters of Luxa, the Rose Mariners, the Dark Planet, the Queen of Time, Lords of the Red Planet, 
and then the mega on the end there. And then we have the start of my Torchwood audios. The Conspiracy, Fall to Earth, Forgotten Lives, One Rule, Uncanny Valley, More Than This, The Victorian Age, Zone 10, Ghost Mission, Moving Target, Broken, Made You Look, Visiting Hours, The Dollhouse, Corpse Day, Cascade, The Office of Never Was, the Dying Room, The Death of Captain Jack, The Last Beacon, We Always Get Out Alive, Goodbye Piccadilly, Instant Karma, Deadbeat Escape, and then we have a special little release here of the Torchwood Archives. So then we have my Dark Shadows Big Finish audios. Starting off with The House of Despair, The Book of Temptation, The Christmas Presents, Cloves of Sand, The Ghost Watcher, The Path of Fate, Echoes of Insanity, Final Judgment, The Dollhouse, The Blind Painter, The Death Mask, the Creeping Fog, The Carrion Queen, The Poisoned Soul, The House by the Sea, The Eternal Actress, The Last Stop, Dreaming of the Water, The Haunted Refrain, The Phantom Bride, Beneath the Veil, The Lucifer Gambit, the flip side, Beyond the Grave, The Harvest of Souls, The Happier Dead, Carriage of the Damned, and Panic. And so now we move on to one offs, oddities, and box sets from my big finish we have collection. The of Malkin Place, my only fourth Doctor adventure. Uh, standalone single disc release that I have in the collection. Very interested in listening to this one and giving it a review. Then we have Blood of the Daleks Part 1 and Part 2 there. Maybe reviewing this one on the channel at one point. Then we have the 50th anniversary special for Big Finish, The Light at the End. Bonus releases now, we have Her Final Flight. Return of the Crotons and the Brilliant The Five Companions. For my only Gallifrey release that I have in the collection currently, Intervention Earth, another one that I'm interested in giving a listen to. And then we have The First Doctor Adventures with David Bradley, Volume 1, The Destination Wars and The Great White Hurricane. Apologies for reviewing the Destination Wars uh, about a year ago now. Um, sorry for giving more credence to uh, James Dreyfus. Then, oh, these are the wrong way round. We have the First Doctor Lost Stories box set, which contains Farewell Great Macedon and the Fragile Yellow Arc of Fragrance. Farewell Great Macedon is a uh, six part historical heart now epic that is one of the very best I've heard of him from Big Finish I would have said. And then we have the second Doctor box set which contains Prison in Space as well as Daleks the Destroyers, a adaptation for the unmade uh, pilot for a Dalek TV series uh, Terry Nation pitched back in the 60s roughly whenever Evil of the Daleks happened or slightly afterwards. The War Doctor, Only the Monstrous, another box set that I'm very interested in listening to and giving a shot and reviewing on the channel as well. The New Adventures of Venice Summerfield Volume 1, Volume 2, The Triumph of Sea Tech, 
Volume 3, The Unbound Universe, and Volume 4, The Ruler of the Universe. Then for my Tortured box sets, I have Aliens Among Us, number 1, Outbreak, Tortured 1, Machines, which is a fantastic box set. Uh, each story gets better as and it goes along. And then I have The Life of Captain Jack, number 1, at the end there. And then we have my four limited edition Big Finish items. We have the complete Davros collection, which collects all of the classic series Davros stories, as well as several of his Big Finish appearances in this uh, DVD box set. Novel adaptations, The Romance of Crime and The English Way of Death, which is a stunning looking box set. The Sixth Doctor, The Last Adventure. And then finally, Cold Vengeance on Vinyl. And so that concludes my Big Finish Collection video for March 2021. So like, fair, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pitch Gold Black, dematerializing.